on BWV, just in the shack to, to make a, a short video. Uh, what's been keeping me busy in the last little while here from making <laughs> movies, I guess, or videos, I purchased a little uh, Ender 3, a little 3D uh, printer. So I've been making all kinds of uh, amateur-related uh, type projects with it. Uh, tablet stands and all kinds of project cases, etc., uh, etc. Et <laughs> One of the things, a learning curve at the same time. Uh, anyway, here we're at the main part of the shack. Uh, here's some of the uh, little boxes that I'm making, project boxes, all different sizes. So I have them on hand and that sort of thing. And of course, you got to try different colors. Um, and um, all the way down to buttons. And um, I'll sweep here. I won't get too dizzy. Um, I'm laying out a new remote head. I printed all the buttons. All that sort of stuff, VFO buttons, and this is one of the remote heads. Uh, this is actually um, the uh, it was created by uh, M0WGN, and uh, he released it uh, on the Thingiverse uh, uh, to allow us to uh, use it and uh, uh, print with it, whatever. So anyway, I'll uh, get back here, take it easy, we don't uh, go too fast, and just do a quick uh, look at what I'm doing at the moment. So this is a uh, the uh, Microbit X, I've shown it many times, with uh, the larger heat sinks and SDR built in, uh, you know, voltage regulators, isolation over here. Um, just a quick look down below there. Oh, turn that down a bit. You'll see some wires sticking out right now because I'm testing a remote head here. And then at the very front, uh, you know, all the normal controls. So we're getting the same thing I got. Uh, our weathermen are about a day behind your weathermen. That's a 3.2 Nexian display touch, uh, and uh, it's an old um, Radio Shack type uh, scanner, and then I just, you know, kind of stripped it down and did the trick on it. But anyway, what I'm doing this morning is I've ran dual displays quite a few times, and it works great. Uh, and then recently I just printed out uh, a uh, remote head here, so this is a complete remote head. Uh, I've got about uh, four foot cables on it now, or three and a half foot remote cables. Um, but we're just in the testing mode, so just a small little unit. Oh, you can see, there it is. Uh, I just used the DB25 in the back for connection. So that's printed out on the 3D uh, printer. Uh, everything is printed out uh, on the 3D printer. Let me get a little closer here. I realize you're <laughs> going to get dizzy, uh, but it'll give me a chance here. To give you a good close-up and um, uh, again this is uh, a remote head produced by a little 3d printer m0 gwn was the uh, original author of the um, the cad files and uh, so i printed it out and um, put it together i've done the wiring for the vfo and of course the touch is all active and i've still got to do the volume and then finish off the mic but as you look here i'll just um, move the vfo here and I'll turn the sound up and we can see that uh, I'll back out here a bit it's moving it fine and if you look over here uh, you'll see that uh, the um, main system is still in sync 72-72 so if you go back here 72-72 um, and everything's active. It's a little awkward here. I'm, you know, when I'm trying to hold the unit and uh, just turn things down here a touch. And in fact, if I had uh, a stylus with me, maybe I'll just use this, just because so I won't get in the way, whatever. But this is all touch. You see, I'm on 255 right now, and I touch it. I'm on 272. And if you look at uh, the main display. I'll just try to get a little bit better picture for you there. Um, I'm on 272, but I switch it over to 255. So it's really a, a great little system. The Microbit X with the Nexians displays really gives you a lot of options. Multiple displays, you can run whatever. I don't know what the limit is, but you certainly can run three displays, uh, which I have. Uh, right at the moment, I'm just running the two, which is, uh, and they're both 3.2 inch. Uh, this is an enhanced version, but the basic version is identical and you've got all the menus all the normal stuff you have in there and they're actually 
two different um, concepts. But in other words, um, someone, um, I can't remember, uh, I think it's Rick, um, but anyway, has gone in and modified the original uh, files and, uh, you know, did a new layout. And um, over here, this is a, a layout that um, myself and Art um, uh, had worked on for the 3.2. So you see, you really can run different displays that you like. So you can run one person's concept of what he likes to see it as here. And then on your other display, um, you can run something that's completely different. And uh, so that's nice with the versatility. But I really like the idea. I was thinking a while back and how I was going to mount it. Um, and then uh, when I come across this and I happen to have purchased a uh, 3D printer, uh, this really um, kind of got me going. So I printed out the stand. It's all part of the files. And um, I've got a few things to go. I printed, like, say, the VFO in here, whatever. And uh, looking at it, it, this is like the back of one. He's the original author of the files. And this is the back cover. Uh, he did a very good job in laying it out on the CAD files. And, uh, you know, I, I basically printed out and did the wiring. And if I go over here, just get away from the other rig, you get a better look inside here. It's quite, um, uh, like I say, well designed. See all the holes for everything, the volume, the VFO. Um, the interesting part, what he did is when he created it, he, he these parts here are push-outs. So you can... Um, put your buttons in there. This is for the VFO. You can light the background up. You pop these out, whatever. And, uh, you know, you have, you have full control. So basically, you take your button, you lay it on top. Or whatever color you're looking for. You know, that sort of get up and go. He, the wires that come out can come out of DB25. Or um, he also designed three different sizes, holes, that units that will uh, actually plug into the, the rear part here. Here. So you can run a DB25, or you can put one of these fellas in and um, uh, have the cable run up that way. These are just different size VFO buttons that I was playing with, uh, that I printed out with the 3D printer. Um, from the large ones to the little smaller here. Okay, so we'll just get back here quickly. There's another stand that I've built. This is, again, as I mentioned, is the, uh, the front piece here, the shell of it. That you, and it's blue, and I, I uh, spray painted it uh, black here for another one. It's a little different size one. That's a 3.5 unit, whatever. Okay, so we'll go back one more time here to the rig. Uh, give you an overview. There's the uh, the remote head. There's the regular Nexian that anybody else is normally running. We're on 255 this morning. At the main uh, rig. I'll turn this down again. And temporarily, right now, I just got the uh, the uh, some of the cables and wiring that I need to run to the remote head just by alligator clip. But of course, uh, I'll be running the permanent installation here sometime in the next little while. So there you have it. Nothing particularly new. Just uh, an update on. Some of the capabilities, uh, you know, that you can look at if you happen to want to uh, make your micro bit X or bit X, whatever one that you're you're playing with, uh, uh, to have more features or just a little more flexibility. This way, you can kind of put the unit on the shelf and then just run your cable down to this. Um, I haven't decided yet uh, whether that's going to be the volume control, which probably is, um, or maybe an RF gain. And uh, I've got two little holes here, which I could either put jacks or I may put some switches to switch things off and on. I haven't really decided there. Also, so there are some little holes here for your transmit and your receive LEDs, if you wish. And in the, see how that's light colored? Uh, if I put some LEDs in the back, that will glow the color of the uh, whatever LEDs I put in there. So that's well thought up. Really glad that uh, he made the files available and uh, it's been fun. Uh, learning to, to print these things on a 3D printer. 
There you have it uh, from the shack of V1 uh, VWV. You guys have a great day, and uh, we'll try to make a, a little bit better video the next time around. Seven trees.